Hey people, what's going on? Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Uh, today I actually am kind of embarrassed and quite even full day. Uh, I have done already two videos and I have actually this was a not really thought out sort of video but I wanted to answer some questions asked by uh, people on the comment section. People think I do not read but I do and some of my friends they go through and uh, some of the people who actually let me know brother I think you should address these things because people ask you so I plan to do 10 questions tackle them as you can see and more or less the harder questions like criticisms and when they have negative things so I always think like you know always uh, negative and positive it doesn't matter feedbacks always good so you can see where you are what's happening so uh, before I start the video uh, my scent of the late night is Chanel's Platinum Eco East I just uh, sprayed twice on my neck and both sides here and here twice and this fragrance I think so far I always say it it's perhaps the best I have bought ever from Chanel there are a lot of Chanel's that I owned reviewed uh, many of them are great but different things work with different people Chanel Platinum Ego is I feel like it's one of the most versatile up class fragrance very classy very very beautiful fragrance so I was just like let me tell you two things then I'll <laughs> go with the video um, like uh, today I was just like I came out from my room and I was just going to get some water or something just like about two hours back and then I just noticed that back like corner of my eye there was this thing flying you know and you know what's flying and what's disgusting cockroaches I hate roaches if you do not know what's if a snake come in front of me I perhaps will say oh such a cute creature if there's a tiger I will think like oh marble you know like a gorgeous beast uh, eat me it's okay but when freaking cockroach comes you know that's the worst shit ever that's like a zombie apocalypse you know so like I hate cockroaches and flying cockroaches is the worst thing in the world like a real nightmare you know so one thing second thing is uh, I was just testing something I planned to many people ask me Joy why don't you go live from your channel I always felt like that is not my cup of tea and I'm not very good with technical sides I do not know a lot of things and I have just very basic setup here so I was thinking like, let's go to my group Fracom Bangladesh and let me try a test run and before you know what I pressed the live and I thought it's already I cut the line but the phone was on my bed and the light was on and people started commenting I'm like holy shit and I don't know where to put my phone I couldn't find a way because my stand is not good enough you have to hold it vertically and stuff then I started like hey okay let's start it one hour of uh, very uh, interesting live session on my group so if you guys want to see I'm gonna go online or live rather from my group once in a while so if you join my group I'll answer many of your questions if I know uh, you in person uh, one on one or something so face to face we can talk a lot so let's uh, uh, oh thanks to all the people who asked me questions and was on live uh, you guys stayed with me for one hour next time I'll do it like half an hour 45 minutes uh, I think that will be shorter okay better so let's address the questions one by one and these are not in any particular order uh, if this video runs a little bit long uh, I apologize but I have to explain this thing so it will clear out a lot of confusion First of all, uh, some comments, you know, there are a lot of random comments from people I do not know. Uh, first thing, question is like, uh, they say basically like, do not trust his reviews. He does decant page and he has decanting. So these are the comments that come from very few people. Uh, it's not the majority of people, there are just few people who write that. And obviously you can actually have questions surrounding your head. Like what does this guy do? How come he buys fragrance and does review every day? I tell you one thing, uh, I do not stop you from thinking you know I cannot do that no one can do that you are free to think because you have your own mind own brain but you're not possible it's not like possible that you know a person uh, like up close without knowing me in person so most of the things most of the time you can do assumption so it's okay not everybody's gonna be the same right not everybody's gonna be liking your videos or thinking positive about you many people do not may not even like you so I think when they say do not trust me I think you should trust me <laughs> I'm just gonna say uh, like not very obvious things I'm gonna say things my way I think you guys should trust me because I put my heart and soul in this reviewing thing I do reviews I if you have been following me for some time I'm crazy for this fragrance world so I am not sponsored by anybody one thing second thing is I uh, buy my fragrances on most part I request people to give me their bottles I borrow bottles from people to review and the thing is if some company if you think like I'm loving a lot like Rasasi, Armaf, any designer house or niche 
uh, is because I actually like the fragrance a lot and I only recommend the ones that I really feel it worked with me, right? And the thing is fragrance reviews always remember are just point of views. I always say many people do not even watch the video, they just comment random. Um, I always say try before you buy. This is something that I like, I recommend for you to try, okay? So if having a decant shop or page it's something that people are not happy about, I cannot do anything about it. Many people do their things, you know, they have to go about their way. Uh, so if you think like I would buy a fragrance and I will decant it and that's just because of that you cannot trust the video, that is up to you for you to judge, but do watch the review first, right? Second thing is uh, he likes everything. This is a common criticism of Joy. I mean, uh, I like everything. The ones that I try and buy, on most part, I am not gonna buy something I do not like. Think about it, you know, rationally. I have very limited amount of money. I do not have the money to buy a lot of niche. I buy cheapies, clones, this and that. And I do review from other people's bottle. I buy my samples. The reason being, I want to leave a review uh, because I tried it. So other people may get to know about it. But when I buy something, you see all these fragrances that I buy, I'm not gonna buy something I do not like. I don't have the luxury of that money. So when I buy something and I say I really like it, uh, it works with me, I will keep it. And if I do not like something, I'll sell it off, right? So it's not the case that I love everything, but I love everything that I buy. Okay, like I know what I'm gonna get and I only buy stuff that I like. You see the connection? <laughs> Third thing is, um, this is not a criticism, but I noticed this is a common issue with everybody. The number of dislikes, you know, when I upload a video every day, in general, like there are like five or six fixed dislikes. You know, when these people wake up, religiously they hit the dislike. I used to get bothered about it a lot in my first couple of years, but I think also many reviewers also find it um, kind of uh, annoying and bad. But I don't think it's a bad thing. It's, it is a good thing that when you get some positive and negative attention and people dislike you, make videos about you, like criticize you or bash you, it's a good thing. You know, when you become like attention, uh, center of attention, you know, it's a good thing. I get more and more uh, talk, you know, it's a good thing. But I think rather um, sometimes perhaps people do not like your face once again, and it's okay. Not everybody has to like me. There are people that in my journey I met, they did things I did not like. I did not like their face, I banned them. So there are some people who are not gonna be happy. Perhaps I blocked them from my channel because I don't wanna talk to them. You know, like I don't wanna waste my time because I have no energy for them. So dislikes do not bother me. So it's not a question, but you know, just addressing it. Number four, repeats. Some of the people say, hey, same old, same old fragrance in every single list. I don't think I do that quite that often. Some fragrance, yes, Dior Ming Tans, you guys know. Some of them are very weak for and I'm gonna be biased from them. I'm just human, right? Nobody's perfect. Uh, if I show a fragrance over and over again, um, I think it shows that how much I actually treasure the fragrance. I try to emphasize on that, right? But I do not think I do every single list which is a repetition of like, let's say, Amara, Essenza, Versace Purong, and I just shuffle them. I think I try to mix them up from time to time and show some uncommon ones like Yopom Sport or uh, Kuro Silver. No one shows those fragrances, right? But even if you feel it's repetitive, perhaps you can like put me on hold for a while, then check back after a few days, then perhaps things will change. Uh, next is number five. Uh, someone commented, you know, I noticed these comments, uh, says, he says everything is long lasting. I say everything is long lasting. <sighs> Let me take a deep breath and tell you this thing, break it down. Uh, I am a person, I'm a fraghead, okay? Try to understand what I am. I'm a fraghead. I am a fan of fragrances. I love perfumes. You can see from my collection and the way I review every day. Uh, some fragrances are long lasting. Some fragrances are moderate. Some fragrances are shitty, terrible longevity. And when people say, I say everything is long lasting, they don't want to watch my videos. 100% sure, pretty much sure, because the lot of fragrances I give very poor mark because they just literally last 40 minutes. And I say, no, it's a pass for me because it's not holding the value. But at times I say different things. I say um, certain fragrances are uh, very beautiful. The longevity doesn't really bother me. I just, I'll tell you one thing, just prime example is uh, this one, La Nuit de L'Homme, La Entance. This fragrance is not supremely beast mode, but as long as it lasts, I enjoy that. So to me is that more and more, you know, like your fragrance journey, you learn, you evolve as like more years pass by, you start developing your nose. You try out new things, vetiver, something darker, something more complex, more niche. But I do not usually say everything is long lasting. But when I say if something is long lasting and it doesn't work with you, remember the reason being could be your way that like 
you know your weather conditions are different your humidity is so much higher than ours or you live uh, like outdoors like in the sun so much rather than indoors or your skin chemistry it's much different than mine so a lot of these things your know, pollution these things affect longevity so you cannot judge your fragrance just understand this by using it like two sprays or two days and people just sell it next day that is a fatal mistake guys that one i cannot help you with but when i say something lasts on me it lasts on me a uh, lot of fragrance that do not last on me last a lot more on other people okay clinic happy for men last on me on like three hours some people get eight hours from it see you see it's subjective so next one is um, number six clones and cheapies many people eat a lot of dislikes they say indirectly do not uh, do knockoff of fragrances they hate uh, they because they feel it i understand that uh, it's a sensitive issue that uh, it's a fragrances are art you know like so when someone created something if you make a clone without giving them credit and you make money from it it's kind of like yes um, perhaps not fair but it's a trend going on you know like anything that's expensive people want some that fragrance let's say aventus but they cannot afford aventus price tag so they want what they want club duty test man 30 something bucks and they can enjoy almost something similar to it but not as good or natural but you know clones and uh, cheapies you know i keep in my mind that everybody not gonna be from same background not everybody has that fat cash that some rich people have i'm not saying rich people as a bad thing rich is good if you're rich you're happier <laughs> no not from the case all the time but uh, this is my point i do reviews for everybody from a person who does use body sprays or ten dollars cologne to people who dove, love roja dove more premium stuff I like to get taste of everything you know so this is where i think my spectrum is a lot more than many other reviewers who focus on let's say by killian more rojad of more george uh for me i'd like to try everything so yeah even if you do not like it perhaps skip those videos but i like to do reviews for everybody out there okay uh next one is this uh, big issue that i have uh, perhaps people cannot hear me well uh they say the audio is so low uh, but you know i tell you what some devices are different from each other i have two phones this phone that i'm using uh, it's a little bit lower the samsung has a volume a little bit lower but if i use my other phone i have a huawei that one has beast mode not longevity beast mode sound uh, i can hear anything even if someone farts i can hear it <laughs> but uh, perhaps if you can hear me properly but others can maybe the device uh, you maybe connect like a headphone you can hear me better but at this moment if i actually uh, invest in much more expensive setup i need a little bit of uh, uh, let's say support that i do not have at this moment um, let's say i can i don't i spend most of my money on the perfume so i feel try to keep my setup basic but at least people can hear me and they can get idea on the fragrance in future if i can of course i would love to update to better sound better quality camera or lighting everything but for time being i'm sorry it's one of my shortcomings i would i took no someday i definitely i'll do uh, next is number eight point uh, some people said most people say he doesn't read comments he doesn't even care uh, first thing uh, there are partial truth and lie in both uh, sometimes i am so busy uh, my like obsession with making videos reviews number of videos i have done 1700 plus i just want to push content i constantly run i'm very uh, ocd kind of person i'm very jumpy kind of person i all day I do something, I clean my room, I go cook something, make tea, I go out, clean something. I, again, you know, like the whole circle, whole day, I just keep running. So I'm a person who is very much like, like hyper. Um, so when I say that, you know, I do not read comments, it's not true. But at the same time, sometimes I uh, do not have from one video to another, I have doing something else and I have to make my living as well. So I try to do my page, my groups, and then this one so at times it's not intentional that i don't give a shit about my people i do but when i read comments there are sometimes these things happen you read something really unpleasant you know like unfair personal attacks you know there are some people who just hate you um the people they are like hey you are you're this you're doing this everything they will say a to z everything they hate about me and when you read it sometimes you feel you know just you're human your morals go down so bad you know uh it, it because you're human beings you have emotions and sentiments and there are people who don't even know you they're judging you but i understand you know most of the time i understand it's a social network it's like a platform for public 
So people will say different things, but when you hear unfair things, it hurts you. So I'm kind of traumatized in that way. So I try to like, I just keep through the comments. If I see something that's gonna look like it's gonna be bad, I kind of skip it, but I do read the comments. But I urge you, please join me in Freccom Bangladesh Facebook group. I am always there live. Any question you have, I'll definitely answer. So that is one of the things I would request because of the lack of the time. It's not like I'm trying to make excuses, but I'm nothing important, but I run all day to make a living and then do videos for you guys, okay? So sorry for the shortcoming. Uh, number nine and 10, two last questions. Why does he make long videos? Uh, this is one point I'm gonna be saying guilty of. I tried making two minutes videos. I feel guilty doing that. I buy a perfume. I spend my money you know like i do decanting i do some running small pages here and there and whatever i get from like say different sources i buy a fragrance after waiting for a month or week uh, this is serious okay and i feel i feel every single fragrance you buy any fragrance you pick up randomly like say eros flame i wanted this perfume for since it was released you know but i could never have the guts to buy it because it was a bit expensive side and for eros 200 ml you can get 200 ml of eros for the price of 100 ml eros flame so i wanted to buy it when it was uh, something that i like so i want to talk about a fragrance the house sometimes the presentation whatever catches my attention and i feel like since i spend some money i want to talk about it i want to give idea when i watch a review i don't i cannot tell you always i enjoy the short videos a lot because when it's super smart, but you don't get any information on the perfume, how it smells, what is the experience, should you be getting it, if it's worth bang for the buck, is it long lasting, which weather it suits you, uh, which occasion. I feel like saying all these things and I take my time, I drink my tea once in a while. Uh, I feel like I do vlogs, I do fragrance talks rather than reviews. So everybody have different styles. Some people can manage their time so smartly and some people are old like me. So my style is old school style. So I like to do 10 minutes, 14 minutes, 15 minutes at times because I want to say everything I want to say about the perfume. So if you feel it's a bit too long and you have short time, perhaps you save it for later or perhaps you watch some of the reviews of some of the reviewers who actually attract you. So I think that will make sense. But I wonder, uh, a lot of people who always hate my reviews they still watch it <laughs> and they still uh, watch the whole thing so i guess it's a blessing in disguise <laughs> last but not least not least not last but not least yeah the mainstream fragrances i'll try to finish with this point uh, many people say i review a lot of these latest flankers you know i try to make uh, videos reviews on fragrances that are more popular try to get more views let me ask you one thing if you're making videos what is your primary goal I think you want to make a video that will satisfy you. You want to make a video that people will watch. Third thing you want to do, quality reviews that is honest. These three are my primary goals. Um, if you feel I'm not doing honest job, that's okay. It's up to you. You believe or not believe. It's all about uh, that uh, base of faith. Uh, second thing is, uh, when you make like a video, if you find out a fragrance that it's not available anywhere, let me just say it. If it's not available anywhere, it's a niche, how super rare, and you can only find it in somewhere in Iceland, okay? You will lose interest in that perfume because you cannot buy it, you cannot own it. So automatically those things are not gonna get views, but I like to do videos still, but when you do, let's say, fragrances out, I'll just give you an example, like real life example. When Club Genie Intense Man, the EDP came out, I wanted to do it so fast because no one reviewed it. So, I mean, they did review it, but no major reviewers reviewed it. Uh, I wanted to get the views, not for money because I don't make money from YouTube, but I like getting views. I'm not gonna lie. If someone says, I don't care for views, I get zero views, I'll still do reviews. He's either lying or something is like really special about them. But um, when I do popular fragrances, that means it's accessible, it's more affordable. I do designers because these are affordable. I buy five designer for a price of niche. This is what makes sense to me. But my journey is different than yours. If you love niche, buy killing you buy only one fragrance per month that's okay i like to buy 15 16 fragrances this is my uh like i am ambitious in that way i'm building up step by step brick by brick my channel uh, i want to review every single designer fragrance out there any niche fragrance out there uh, until there is nothing left so understand these things mainstream videos we have to do sometimes I have to make catchy or uh clickbait sort of uh wall like thumbnail 
it's not to say that I'm gonna make super money from the views or I'm trying to trick you or I'm trying to um, get you in a trap that you know I'm showing you like some gross cleavage but there's no cleavage in the video it's not that my thing is trying to entertain I feel like um, if it's entertaining if it's fun and it's like the fragrance whole game is about relaxation right it's nothing serious some people are so serious you know did you just talk about my Aventus did you just say your Aventus my Aventus is like something you don't like how dare you I'm gonna I'm gonna hire someone just to take you down just for that mofo you know so if you're that serious then you know I'm scared for you I'm scared of you I'm scared for you <laughs> do not suffer a heart attack because of an argument over a fragrance group or something uh, make sure it's always remaining as a hobby right so thank you so much for watching thank you so much for giving me your time i just wanted to do this different kind of video i'm enjoying getting engaged and keep busy uh, as we are in lockdown times are very boring but i really hope my only concern is everybody who is here watching and everybody in the world come out safe and this coronavirus dies away and nobody falls victim this is my only wish so Take care, stay home and stay safe. Love you all. Good night from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Bye-bye.